This code imports various libraries such as NumPy, Pandas, Seaborn, and Matplotlib. It also imports specific classes and functions from Pandas and Stats models. These libraries and functions are commonly used for data processing, data visualization, and time series analysis. The code does not include any specific actions or functions, it simply imports the necessary tools for further analysis. Filter warnings ignore is used to suppress warning messages that may be displayed during the execution of a program. By calling this function with the argument ignore, the program instructs Python to hide any warning messages that may rise. This can be useful in situations where the programmer knows that the warnings are not relevant or can be safely ignored. This code is written in Python and is used to list the files in the input directory of the current environment. It uses the os.listiter function to retrieve a list of all the files in the specified directory and the print function to display the list of file names. It also uses the check underscore output function to run the command ls on the specified directory and the decode function to convert the output to UTF-8 format before printing it. The code is primarily used for exploring and accessing the input data files in the current environment. This code reads a CSV file containing stock data for Tesla and stores it in a data frame called DF. The data frame is then displayed using the head function, which shows the first few rows of the data frame. The given code uses the pandas library to manipulate a data frame called df. The first line prints the first five rows of the data frame. The second line prints the number of rows and columns in the data frame. The third line prints the column labels of the data frame. These lines of code are used for data exploration and analysis, allowing the user to get a glimpse of the data and understand its structure. The code takes a data frame, selects a specific column called close, and plots the data as a line chart. It then sets the title of the chart as Tesla and displays the chart. Essentially, the code visualizes the closing prices of Tesla's stock over a period of time. This can be useful for analyzing trends and patterns in the stock's performance. The code calculates the cumulative return of a given dataset and plots it on a graph. The variable doctor represents the cumulative sum of the dataset, and the function plot is used to visualize the cumulative returns. The graph is then labeled as Tesla cumulative returns using the title function from the PLT module. Overall, the code aims to provide an overview of how the returns of the dataset have accumulated over time for Tesla. This code generates and displays an autocorrelation plot using the lag underscore plot function from the matplotlib library. The plot is based on the open column of the data frame df and has a lag of 5. The autocorrelation plot allows visual analysis of the correlation between each data point and its lagged values. The resulting plot helps identify patterns and dependencies in the time series data. The code includes a title for the plot, which in this case is Tesla autocorrelation plot. 
The fig size parameter specifies the size of the plot. This code retrieves the value at index 1857 from the date column of the data frame DF. In simpler terms, it fetches the specific date stored in the 1857th row of the date column of the data frame. This code splits a data frame DF into training and testing data based on a specified ratio. It then creates a line chart using the plot function from the matplotlib.piplot library. The x-axis represents states and the y-axis represents prices. The blue line represents the training data, while the green line represents the testing data. The x-axis thick marks are set to display dates at regular intervals, and a legend is added to differentiate between the two lines. The function SMAPE underscore Kuhn calculates the symmetric mean absolute percentage error, SMAPE, between two arrays, Y underscore true and Y underscore pred. It does this by first calculating the absolute difference between the predicted values, Y underscore pred, and the true values, Y underscore true. Then, it multiplies this absolute difference by a constant factor of 200 divided by the sum of the absolute values of Y underscore pred and Y underscore true. Finally, it takes the mean of these values and returns the result. The SMAPE is a measure of the average percentage difference between the true and predicted values, and this function allows for quantifying the accuracy of a model's predictions. This code takes the open values from a training data set and a test data set. It then trains an ARIMA, Auto Regressive Integrated Moving Average, model on the training data. The model is used to make predictions on the test data. The predicted values are stored in a list called predictions. The code also calculates the mean squared error and the symmetric mean absolute percentage error between the predicted values and the actual values in the test data. The results are printed to the console.
This code creates a plot using the matplotlib library. The plot depicts the open values from a data frame called df as a green line labeled training data. It also plots the predicted price values as green dots connected by dashed lines, labeled predicted price. Additionally, it plots the actual open price values as a red line labeled actual price. The plot is then given a title, x-axis and y-axis labels, and custom tick positions on the x-axis using dates from the date column of the data frame. Lastly, a legend is added to indicate which line represents each set of data. The given code generates a figure with a plot that compares predicted and actual prices of Tesla stock. The x-axis represents the dates, and the y-axis represents the prices. The predicted prices are displayed as green dots connected by dashed lines, and the actual prices are displayed as a continuous red line. The x-axis thick marks are set at specific intervals using the dates from the dataset. The title of the plot is Tesla Prices Prediction, and the x-axis label is dates while the y-axis label is prices. The legend is also displayed to differentiate between predicted and actual prices. The code reads a CSV file containing stock data for Microsoft MSFT, from a specified location. It uses the pandas library to create a data frame object with the CSV data, and any missing values in the data are filled with zeros. The data frame is then displayed using the head method, which shows the first few rows of the data. Overall, this code fetches the Microsoft stock data from a file and displays a preview of it. This code generates a line plot of the close data from a data frame called DF. The plot is then given a title of Microsoft and displayed without any further customization. The resulting visualization allows the user to observe the trends and patterns in the closing prices specifically for the Microsoft stock. This code generates a plot of the cumulative returns of Microsoft stock. It first calculates the cumulative sum of the daily returns using the cumsum function and assigns it to the variable doctor. Then, it uses the plot function to create a line plot of the cumulative returns. Finally, it sets the title of the plot to Microsoft cumulative returns using the title function from the PLT module. The resulting plot provides a visual representation of the overall performance of Microsoft stock over time. This code generates and displays an autocorrelation plot for the open column of a data frame called DF. The plot is created using the matplotlib library, and the figure size is set to 10 by 10. The lag parameter is set to 5, 
indicating that the autocorrelation plot will show the correlation between the open values at time t and the open values at time t5. The title of the plot is set to Microsoft Autocorrelation Plot. An autocorrelation plot helps visualize the correlation between a variable and its delayed versions, providing insights into potential patterns or relationships in the data. This code retrieves the value at index 7982 from the date column of the data frame DF. The date column is likely a column containing date or timestamp information. By accessing the value at a specific index, this code allows the user to retrieve a particular date from the date column in the data frame. This code takes a data frame named DF and splits it into two parts, train underscore data and test underscore data. The train underscore data contains 80% of the original data, starting from the beginning, while the test underscore data contains the remaining 20% of the data, starting from the end. After that, the code uses the matplotlib library to create a figure with a size of 12 by 7. It sets the title of the plot to Microsoft prices and labels the x-axis as dates and the y-axis as prices. The code then plots the open column from the entire data frame as a blue line and labels it as training data. It also plots the open column from the test underscore data portion of the data frame as a green line and labels it as testing data. The X tick labels are adjusted to show every 1300th entry from the date column of the data frame. Finally, a legend is added to differentiate between the training and testing data. The code calculates the symmetric mean absolute percentage error SMAPE, between two arrays, y underscore true and y underscore pred. It first calculates the absolute difference between each corresponding element in y underscore true and y underscore pred. Then, it multiplies this absolute difference by 200 and divides it by the sum of the absolute values of y underscore pred and y underscore true. Finally, it takes the mean of all these values and returns it. SMAPE is a measure of the relative difference between the true and predicted values. In short, the code calculates the average SMAPE between the true and predicted arrays.
This code performs time series forecasting using the AREMA, Auto Regressive Integrated Moving Average, model on a dataset of stock market opening prices. It first extracts the open column values from the train underscore data and test underscore data datasets. Then, it initializes a history list with the train underscore R values. The code then iterates over each value in the test underscore R and fits an AREMA model with order, 5 comma 1 comma 0, using the history values. It then forecasts the next value, yet, using the model underscore fit. The predicted value is appended to the predictions list and the observed value is added to the history list. Finally, the code calculates the mean squared error and the symmetric mean absolute percentage error between the test underscore R values and the predictions. This code creates a line plot with three lines representing different datasets. The training data line is plotted in blue and represents the open values from a data frame called DF. The predicted price line is plotted in green with dashed lines and represents the predicted prices at specific dates. The actual price line is plotted in red and represents the actual prices at those dates. The plot is given a title, labels for the X and Y axes, and custom tick marks on the X axis representing specific dates from the date column in DF. Finally, a legend is added to indicate which line corresponds to which dataset. This code generates a line plot to compare predicted and actual prices of Microsoft stock. The plot includes markers and a dashed line for the predicted prices, and a solid line for the actual prices. The plot is titled Microsoft Prices Prediction and the x-axis represents dates while the y-axis represents prices. The x-axis also includes ticks at specific dates from the given data range. Additionally, a legend is included to differentiate between the predicted and actual prices. The figure size of the plot is set to 12 inches by 7 inches.